It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. If you encounter a hazardous chemical spill, please alert the facilities division immediately. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions known? It was difficult for them to reach the decision to engage in open hostility. What about you? You agree with their decision? There's no good answer. Taking action puts us at risk, but inaction could be deadly. And yet, as a leader, you must make those hard choices. You know, Mother, it's no secret that you worked with the Railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is, where do you stand with them now? Do you count them amongst your allies? Does it even matter? What are you getting at? I think it's obvious. For the Institute's position in the Commonwealth to be secure, the railroad must be eliminated. Completely. As our primary above-ground operative and someone who has had previous contact with the railroad, you are in the best position to carry this out. So what I'm getting at, simply, is this. Are you willing to destroy them? There has to be another solution here. Something less violent. I'm afraid the time for hesitation has passed. We must act decisively and we must act now. Will you do it? I can take care of them. Good. Good. I don't enjoy asking you to put yourself in harm's way. But this is so important. Fixer. Fixer's back. There's more going on than you know. Desdemona. Trust me. Something on your mind? You don't look so good. The Institute has ordered me to kill you. All of you. I guess they consider us a real threat after all. I suppose we should be flattered. So really, the question is, what are you going to do about it? I'm afraid you all have to die. Huh. Deacon vouched for you. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Or you. We're not going down without a fight. Work together! <laughs> <laughs>
I hear, that rogue synth of Obertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Remember to practice good sanitation habits at all times. Sean? And so, the work is done. I am sorry. I know it was likely difficult for you. It was tough, yeah. I assure you that there was no other way. Their fanaticism wouldn't have allowed it. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. Whatever it is, we can handle it. I believe so. But in this case, what matters most is how we handle it. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out in the world, Mother. And they too will come for us. You have something in mind if that happens? I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. So, we're just going to attack them? There's a plan that's a little more involved than that. Dr. Lee should be expecting you in her lab. She can fill you in on the details. Time is of the essence. I wish you could have known Father as we have. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial then. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. At last, we have power adequate to our needs. Dr. Lee, what can I do for you? The Brotherhood needs to be taken down, and it needs to be done now. All right, all right. Calm down. Well, let's get to it. Dr. Orman, over here, please. It's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that the robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. It would seem we've run out of time. Let's go. We're going to cover the basics of the operation as it stands now. Dr. Orman has done most of the prep work, so I'll let her explain. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? I don't know much about their situation. Okay, well, I guess I just told you. It's their main base in the Commonwealth. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. So we just relay onto the airship and sabotage it? Won't do us any good. There's no direct connection between their robot and the airship. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you in to a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. We'll have the element of surprise, if nothing else. Exactly. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in synths, giving you even more of an advantage. And... Oh! I almost forgot. Take these. 
Oh, thanks. Grenades? Sure, I can always use grenades. No, no, they're not grenades. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hotspot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. I'm not gonna beat the Brotherhood with this. Toys aren't gonna help me. Hard to please, aren't you? Look, this is just to provide extra support. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? What's Liberty Prime? Dr. Lee can give you the rundown. Yes, well, the Brotherhood discovered him. An old pre-war military project that never saw the light of day due to power problems that couldn't be solved. With my assistance, they were able to get his reactor running and use him against their enemies. That's quite an achievement. In objective terms, yes, it was. But the things I went through, that project included, ultimately caused me to seek out something better. It's what led me to the Commonwealth and to the Institute. The point here is that in designing the power system for the robot, I had full knowledge of every onboard system. I know exactly what it is capable of and precisely how to exploit those capabilities. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past 10 years, and, this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth, capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get shot, you know? With Liberty Prime on our side, that'll give us a hell of an advantage. He's not going to go stomping around, and he won't be taking orders. But he will have his weapons and targeting systems overridden. And he'll absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry. We'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Otherwise, they'll be waiting for you in the relay room. No questions. Let's do this. Very well. Good luck to you. Dr. Lee might not show it, but I can tell she's excited about having the reactor online.